Well, welcome back to another day's gaming on the uh, the web channel. <laughs> he says reaching above himself. This is the uh, Road to Independence campaign. It's the fourth part, just for those who are, are new to watching this. I've got it on HD. It takes a long time to upload, so I can only do the half hour, which is great compared with the ten minutes I used to get um, on the um, uh, slower option. Uh, anyway, um, just to get my head back into gear, see what I'm supposed to do. I know I've got um, a fair amount of money to spend there still, 1,648. Um, but there's still one or two things left in this move that I need to do. I want to um, move the Plains Indians for a start. Not not the Plains Indians, sorry. I've taken them a long time ago. Uh, my troops that I've got up here um, in the Plains area. So, if you remember, I put a general in there a long time ago, and I put him in there um, in order to... You see, there's nothing that, that tells me how much they're costing, is there? Um, let me just have a look, see... No, I can't see it that way either. Anyway, short of it is, he's coming out of there. I think he's wasted. So I'm not going to have him up there. So I'll bring him down here. Uh, I don't quite know where. I've already got a general down here. Probably here, actually, because um, uh, those troops are going to have to come out of there at some stage, aren't they? You know, There's no point in just keeping them bottled up in that fort, is there, all the time. Uh, now, there should be a missionary up there as well, somewhere. If I can find him. And I'm pretty sure this now is 100% Protestant. Uh, yes, it is. OK, so same thing with those. Uh, bring him down south as well. And put him into um, uh, Mexico in there. OK, so we'll get him moving in the right direction as well. And then, um, having done that, I'll just put my sign up here so I'm recording. I can hear noise approaching. There we go. <laughs> Let's hope that that stops it reaching me. Right, OK, so General South. Um, I also wanted to uh, spend that little bit of extra money on a farm in Philadelphia, um, because I know I can afford it, basically. I've had a good look around, and, as you know, I always end the video by saying I'm going to have a look around. Well, nearly always. And that's... But, oh, what am I doing there? And that's basically because I don't want to waste your time, so it's not me sort of running around all over the place trying to find out, you know, where, where the, um, the, uh, the building is that needs to be done. So I want to nip over to here as well and tax Dublin, because I've noticed that it is untaxed at the moment. If you remember... At the end of the last video, um, I changed the ministers. You know, the minister for um, for Europe, because I have one minister just for the whole of Europe, and um, and that settled the whole of this area instantly. Absolutely fantastic. This doesn't need a m very much spending on it. In fact, it says naught on there. Recouping council repair selected ships. Recouping naught. I don't understand that. But anyway, it looks like he's taken some hits, so I'm going to improve him a little bit anyway. I think it is him, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, a bit. Curious about that. I know these are being um, repaired. Uh, well, I hope they are. Yes, they are. And he is as well, so I won't even bother. Yes, I know I've done it. It's, oh, no, I haven't. It's this one here. Ah, let's do that one as well then. Huh. Do you know, I hadn't realised that one was there. Um, right, okay, so uh, let's do the turn end, see what it comes up with. Oh, no, I didn't set my clock either. Darn it. Let's do that now. Can't take more than a couple of minutes, that, can it? OK, so I'll finish a couple of minutes earlier than normal. That should do it. I'll just speed these up because uh, I think you know what's happening here. You, you, these are moves that I've ordered some time ago. They're people that are gradually getting themselves into position. This is the rate that was well out of position that I'm putting into um, into the French area, you know, upper Louisiana, so that I can uh, find out um, what his movements are up there and just to see if he's building any, any armies in that sort of area. Right, OK. Nothing really doing with Austria. I'm going to um, uh, flick out of this one. And, oh no, actually Prussia's about to come up, so we'll just wait for Prussia to appear as well. Uh, gosh, it's taken a long time on France, isn't it? Hmm. Don't quite know why that's taking quite so... Ah, here he goes now. Um, yeah, this is the reason why I put rakes in that area, you see. And of course, if he does become a threat, I'll just take out his generals first of all, taking one of his horse units away and taking part of his... Um, uh, well, I mean, somebody said to me, a general helps with the, uh, the amount of losses. I don't know if it's the losses I take or that he takes, or perhaps both, I really don't know, but can't do any harm taking out the general, can it? It reduces the number of troops he's got, basically, um, and the confidence that he might feel in attacking somewhere. So keeping rakes around in an area where somebody might be an enemy, uh, a potential enemy, ah, is a good idea. But, you know, this area here that you're looking at, this is a trade route I can see. It's that road along there. That's where the um, trade route must be being raided. You see that green dotted line at the bottom there? That's where my trade is coming in uh, via the sea. But I'm told that my um, uh, trade to the Ottomans there um, is being raided over land. I, I don't really don't understand it because the Ottomans are you know, moving about as normal there and 
all, all seems well. So I, I just don't quite understand why it looks as though um, we're being um, raided on land, really. But um, anyhow, Great Northern War raging up here, I imagine. Uh, yet again. Um, mm, yeah, we went through that fairly quickly, didn't we? So here we go, Spain. Let's have a quick look, see what they're doing. Right, OK. OK, I don't think there's anything to see after here, so I'll just discount this bit so we can save a little bit of... Yep, here we go, there's the um, turn end. Oh, is that all that's happening? I expected a few more to drop down than that. These are the new, um, you know, the Indian territories that I've taken. I've built um, town buildings in there and a church in there as well. Um, Cane Tuck territory. I can read them a bit more easily on this one. This is Chikaza, be the look of it, um, Cherokee territory. And Teleco, Cane Tuck territory. So it was right, wasn't it? It's Teleco and um, Chikaza, so... Mm, I, I can read it much better on this screen um, because you don't have the sort of busyness of the um, the geography behind. Um, right, OK. Uh, in Dublin, where we were looking before, I noticed while I was over there that there isn't a road over there. So I'm just going to stick a road in there because it might come in handy to me there. Particularly there because, um, you know, moving between Edinburgh and, um, and Dublin, just in case anything does land in these areas. And of course, I'm aware that these ports got quite a few ports around here and not protected, so I'm going to need to pay some attention to that. I really want to bottleneck the, uh, the Prussians and take that threat away. Um, I will now repair that gunnery school uh, in Edinburgh. I don't really see that much point in doing it. In fact, somebody's just asked me the question, when are you going to upgrade your barracks? Well, do I really need to do that now? I ask myself, when I can get all of these in London. Um, so, I don't know. I might do. But we'll think about that. The Edinburgh Barracks, of course. Oh, no, it hasn't got a barracks in there. I thought we had a barracks. No, perhaps we don't. Uh, are barracks in here? Actually, I wonder if we even have barracks in these. Let's have a look. Yeah, we've gone past all the barracks stages, haven't we? Right to the ultimate stage. So, yeah, we've surpassed that. So, when he asked me the question, when are you going to upgrade your barracks? I sort of gave the enigmatic response, you know, sort of stick around and see what happens, um, because obviously we've taken Britain, haven't we? So, uh, let's just bob these in here while we're here. No harm in that. So just stick those in there. And I might just, while I think about it, um, take a Dragoon out of there and put him in there as well. So he can protect that port for me as well, can't he? Um, just in case, you know, just for when I take any ships out of there. In fact, if I can get another one out, it might be worth me doing that, you know. Um, just take one of those out and put it... Is that still OK? Yeah, they're still OK, good. I'll just pop one of those in there as well. So it protects that port from anybody suddenly landing and moving in on London. So that's got to be a good thing, isn't it? Right, OK. Um, uh, the other thing I wanted to do was... Um, uh, get the missionary off this road here. Do you remember he caused me problems before? Get him up here into Scotland somewhere. Doing his missionary work. Good chap. Um, and we can gradually get that down. Even England isn't um, fully Protestant yet, which is a bit of a shame. But I think, you know, these buildings around here, religious buildings around here, wherever they are here, they should spawn um, a, a missionary soon. So I, I think that will just solve itself, that problem. OK, I need to um, replenish a regiment of infantry in Edinburgh. Um, but I discovered. Oh no, I've already done that one, that's good. Right, okay. Uh, right, um, let me see now. Uh, which one did I want? Uh, right, okay, yeah, it just threw me a bit that I'd done that one already, I'm just double checking that. Um, right, now the, the main fleet, this one up here, I want to get that into here to get it repaired. I'm tempted to bottleneck this and stop anything from getting through ever again. Um, hmm, but uh, for now, I, d I don't know what's going to be coming my way and whether I'll need this fleet somewhere else. Uh, bring it into here, and I'm going to replenish that one, if I can. Replenish all the ones that need it anyway. OK. And having done that, I'm going to get the uh, first rate in the brig, wherever they are. These two here. And I'm going to put those out here. And they should come in... Uh, in fact, I might even create the bottleneck with those, mightn't I? I think I will. Yeah, I'll take those up to there. And, um... In fact... Oh, do you know, I just missed my chance there, didn't I? Is that Prussia? No, it isn't. Ah, right, OK. So I was, I was going to raid the trade route there, but there doesn't seem to be anything going, you know, an enemy's way, does there, really? So, hmm. Mission with some... Hmm. 
just reading the money, the bit about the money on there, but I don't think there's any trade I can steal from there. But I'm quite happy to have those up there anyway. Uh, the trade fleet that I've got over here, um, I think they're decent enough now with the three repaired galleons to go over to Brazil, so that's exactly where I'm going to send them, and we'll see what's down there. I might have to fight something, but who cares? I'm definitely sending them down there. See um, if I can find a space. You never know, there might be a space. If not, there might be a Spanish fleet on one. Uh, I might be able to go for that with three galleons. We'll see. Now, um, people keep going on to me about roads. They're quite right, so let's get some roads around the place. Um, anywhere I can build one, I'm going to build one. Come on, where are you? Right, OK. Here we go. Oh, it's already got one. There you go. Just click them willy-nilly. I just need to um, make sure my roads are all up to speed, really, because, like they say, it does improve the economy, but it'll also help me move troops around, because we're now not so worried about other people invading us, we're more worried about us being able... well, not, not from land, anyway. We're more keen on being able to move our troops around quickly, I think. OK. Oh, wow. Loads of... Oh, 478. I don't think we're... There's no way <laughs> we're going to be able to build any more. Um, now, I was going to get a sloop in this port down here, but I think buying all those roads might mean I can't afford it now. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? No matter. What I'm going to do is move the um, the ships that I've got around a bit. I don't really need to defend that port, but it would be nice to have a sloop in there, or something in there at least, um, because... Uh, well, because. <laughs> no, not really. Um, the main reason is that I want to be able to... Well, I want to have the potential to move troops around if, I, if uh, I'd like to, if I need to. Um, I wonder if this one will reach. That's just a brig, isn't it? But... Uh, no, it won't reach. It had reached there, though, and then the fifth rate could move on. I don't really want the fifth rate to go, though. What's this in here? Oh, that's a sloop. Let's have that one down there, then, shall we? Oh, that won't reach, either. I thought I had something that would reach there, but I haven't. OK, I'm going to risk it for a biscuit. And I'm going to send... No, not the fifth rate. I want to keep the fifth rate. Uh, I like having him there. It's nice to have a bigger ship around, and he moves quite quickly as well. I think I'll get one of these. Sloop. Uh, I'll take the sloop. Uh, no, hang on a minute. Oh, decisions, decisions. Should have thought about this before, shouldn't I? Right, OK, yeah, I'm going to take the sloop out. Uh, I'm going to move that down to Florida. The Well, I, I know this whole area is Florida, but that, that Florida port there. Um, the reason for doing that is, like I said, I want to have the freedom to move those troops out if I can. I know I can go across the French territory, uh, but anyway, I want to... Uh, just a little bit more flexibility on there. Right, let's pull these out over to here. I think this place should still be OK. Yes, it is. Quite happy now, that. And that will cover that port. OK, um, I'm not too worried about this port, by the way. If anybody lands in there, this is as far as they can get. They can't get across to there, so it's not really a threat to me, that one. So I'm going to leave that. You can always damage it, of course. You know. Notice that's a commercial port, by the way. And notice, nothing is going through that commercial port there. Where on earth these supplies are going to, I've just no idea. It just seems... Daft. I mean, they, they don't seem to be able to um, trade through there. So I don't quite understand what's going on there, but it seems to be a waste of money putting that commercial port in there. Other than the fact that it's um, increased the trade that I get, you know, th th sorry, the income that I get for having an extra port. OK, um, there were three trade ships hanging around somewhere that I sent down here. Do you remember at one time the ocean was such that if ever I sent anything that wasn't massive, it would be attacked. Well, not anymore. The oceans seem to be ours, he says. Touch wood. Well, yeah. can I afford to do those? Uh, did I leave enough money? Yeah, did. Just. OK. Um, now, I think now, having moved that sloop there, I think I'll move my other sloops around and just cover all these ports, just to make sure nothing can get through. Um, ah, let's start up in Newfoundland. I want something up there, because there's nothing there at the moment. Yeah. The idea, of course, is... Is there anything there? Yes, there is. The idea being that I can ferry troops 
from one part to another almost immediately if anything attacks. So if anything attacked there, for instance, um, on the coast there, I've got a whole turn to get troops into there, haven't I? And I can ferry them across all of these um, uh, boats that I'm going to put along this route. So I'm going to put one up there as well to replace that one, if I can find out where it is. Uh, because, as you know, um, the United States has nothing defending it, really. No troops at all. Population's so happy, I don't need to use troops. Yeah, and okay, um, soldiers in there. So I don't really need any in that port, but I'm sure I've got another. Sh I've got one here, haven't I? Right, let's bring that one across as well. Uh, I'll bring that one up to say here. That would be good. Okay, because he can still reach over to there from here. So to there, and then over to Newfoundland. So that forms the connection there. I wonder if I have another. I thought I had another, but maybe not. Hmm, maybe not. Oh, that's a big ask, actually, for them to come all the way around. Oh, mind you, they go up to there, can't they? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think I might just have to settle for that, actually, for now. Um, you see, what can happen is uh, I can take troops out of here, bring them over to here, stick them on that ship, move from there over to the next one here and then leapfrog all the way along until I get up to Newfoundland if indeed the attack goes in to Newfoundland. That's the general plan anyway. Okay, um, I think the Mexican rake needs to do a little bit of work. I don't want him hurting anyone because he might get damaged himself. We know there are troops in that port there. Uh, we know there's an army outside Mexico but not in it. I wonder what's here. Ah. Uh, just one defending the port. Now that's a shame. If he hadn't have had that there, I could have landed an army there and then moved up here and taken that. Uh, I've still had to fight him there, of course. But um, he's probably got a fort in there, so I could have probably defended it. Let's have a look. Why won't it? Oh, it won't show me, will it? Never mind. Okay, well, I, I think that's about it. So, uh, about halfway through this video, let's see what the turn end brings on again. Do you know, I always have doubts. I, say, hmm, I haven't done everything. I certainly don't do everything in the exact way that I plan to do it, to be honest. <laughs> I plan it all out in great detail and then think, no, I don't want those ships there, I don't want them somewhere else. And I will just make um, a sort of fairly, I wouldn't say rash decision, but a considered opinion. Because when I decide to make a certain move, I have several options and, and sometimes it's in the balance as to which one I will go for. Um, but anyway, the, the one on this occasion has been the, um, uh, the first rate and the brig. I think it's a brig. Um, over into the Baltic. I've made the decision to take them right in there. Now, I hadn't done that before. So, I, d I decided to leave them outside and catch anything that comes out because my main navy, of course, is in a port and it's being currently replenished. So I wanted something out there that was going to be able to hold any sort of odd small ships that come through. I've got a plan for holding on. Oh, hang on. I thought he's coming for me then. Do you know, he's raiding a trade route there. That would be my main trade route into Russia. And in fact, it wouldn't surprise me if hmm, some of my trade to the Ottomans goes that way. It goes over... No, it can't do, can it? It must go through that port, that Ottoman port there in the south. OK. Come on, come on, you're taking ages. What's the matter with you? Right, this is a bit... You know, like I said before, I can't see anything that's preventing my trade getting through there. But I don't understand why all those... Ottomans are all gathered together there on the border either. It's like something's happening there in that area. I, I can't see what's going on there and I, I don't want to spare a ship to go all the way around there. But we'll see. Okay. Uh, Spain. Right, let's watch them. They've been doing very little recently, you know, and I'm a bit concerned about it. Because um, I'm just thinking that maybe they're on my blind side, you know, that they're um, in a place where I can't see what they're doing. But none of those troops could have moved in Mexico, or the rake would have seen them for a start. Nothing could have moved along the trade routes, you know, to where my ships are, you know, that moving around to be replenished, for instance. Or that sloop, for instance, you know, that's going over to the Florida port. So everything there seems to be really quite safe. So I just, uh, I'm, I'm a little bit nonplussed by all of that, you know, why, um, uh, 
Actually, you know that. Hmm. Oh, right. I, I just had a thought. Sorry about that. It was um. It was about that um, Northern Fleet. You know that, that fleet, with the um, first rate, and the um. Uh, hmm. I was thinking maybe it needs an admiral on it. I'm not sure if it's got an admiral there. I don't think it has. Okay. Well, anyway, end of turn. Uh, agent recruited in here, of all places. Um, and all I can do is sort of bring him eventually round to here. Fleet arrives. Hey, that was quick. That was really quick. Now let's see what we've got in here. Uh, Ottomans, they're friends. Can't really go in there. There's a free one there. And what's in the other one though as well? Hmm. We've got in there. That's just have a look at what's in the other one. I can see. Will it let me see? Oh, will I still be able to get back there? I think I will, won't I? Uh huh. Ah. Now, Marathas. I'm at war with them. That means they're going to attack me, doesn't it, really? Um, they've got lots of them. What have they got here? Brig, 6th rate and 3rd rate. They're too good for my three galleys. Uh, oh my gosh. 2nd rate, 2nd rate, 2nd... No chance. There's no way I'm going to take those on. I think it's time to get peace with the Marathas. Let's pay for it. See what they'll give us. Um, request peace. Request trade agreement. I'll pay them some money. What shall I give them? I'll try 4,000. Uh. Oh yes! Oh damn, I wish I'd have offered less now. Oh. That's that trade route we were talking about before. What's that? Diplomacy? So I thought it was that Isn't that wonderful? Yes, it's wonderful. Thank you very much. Um, I wonder how much that trade is worth. Oh, 4,052. I'll get all the money back in one turn. That is amazing. Now, there's no building that you could build that looks that good. So, right, it's gone to the... Oof, in fact, how much are we going to make from this as well? 3,618. Wow. So by putting those there, 3,618, plus the 4,000 from the Marathas, 7,618, uh, roughly. Um, but of course, we lose the first 4,000 because we just paid it out to them. So we'll get that subsequently. But that is... Oh, that has got to be good. That was definitely worth paying for, I think. Uh, okay. Mm, just some construction there. Trait gained. Let me have a look at that. And agent recruited. That's the one that we've already had a look at, hasn't it? Haven't we? Now I've got ten minutes left, so um, I think I'm going to have to take out that uh, that fleet up there in the Baltic. That's probably a number one priority, isn't it? So, so I'll quick look through my list and see what I've left myself as being a next possibility of what I should be doing. Oh, do you know? I think I've run out of all the things that I'd suggested to do. Don't seem to have any more. Well, that's a shame, isn't it? Um, It is. I haven't planned anything this far ahead. Well, I thought I had. Never mind. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is, um, uh, well, I've got the ships to the trade hub. Um, I'm going to get the first rate to go and attack that Baltic fleet there. I wonder what I'm going to get next turn, by the way. Now I've got that trade. 26,000 next time. Wow. So I've lost this other bit. I always get 3,000 as the Americans for some reason. I've said that before. I don't know. My trade income has now gone up there. So that's brilliant. Now, okay, let's... Um, I just hope that I can keep that fleet there and look after it. These are the guys that have got to go. Uh, it's a brig. Um, we're going to murder a brig. Can I reach him? Oh, and I can reach him. Ho, ho, ho. So let's take out the brig. Uh, I'm not sure if you want to watch this or not. How much time have I got? I've got eight minutes. Eight minutes enough time to show the killing of a brig. Oh, what's that all about? Yeah, we know there's a block. First rate. Yeah. What's that all about? I don't understand. Um, I wonder if I should give these an admiral now. Why isn't he moving there? Am I at war with someone else or what? 
Is there another ship here? There's another ship there, that's what it is. Ah. Well, let's see if he wants to come out and fight me then, hey? Yeah? Come on then, if you're big enough. No, you're not, are you? Yeah, you're alright posturing while you're in that port there, aren't you? Looking tough, but when it comes to coming out and fighting, it's, things are slightly different, aren't they, pal? Anyway, there we go, let's go for the brig. Um, I'll just stop the video a minute until we get into it and see if I can do it in eight minutes. Okay, I'm trying to move fairly quickly here. This ship's gone past him and had a shot already. Um, this one's on. We're going with the wind, by the way, so we can go that little bit quicker because his brig is going to be much faster, I'm afraid, than my first rate. So I'm keeping this ship away from him. Uh, did he fire then? I didn't notice. No, he didn't. Okay. Come on, are you going to get close enough? Yes, fantastic. Now we should be able to stay away from him completely. None of my ships has actually taken a hit. I went past him so quickly at the fastest range, at the furthest range that I possibly could. So there's absolutely no way that he could even fire back. So this ship hasn't been hit. Went past him very quickly, as I explained. And this ship obviously hasn't been hit either. So I'll bring them back now. Uh, don't sink, please. Shaken, concerned is mastered. Well, you can imagine what we're going to do now. Fairly simple. Uh, we're on a fast speed, of course, as well. So I'm going to go right up close to him, as you can imagine, and then what I'm going to do is just rake him with grape shot. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, so all it was was me forming up on the left side here, two ships, the brig closest to him, and, and then hitting the wind straight away and flying up there. He tried to turn to meet us, um, but the brig shot him because um, he's got um, a long length um, by the time he um, caught up with very slow sails, the, um, the poor sails, the um, first rate um, was crossing his path as well. And so the first rate got a shot in and that's the one that you saw and we just took his sails away absolutely instantly. So we've had no hits whatsoever on these ships. So we should enjoy nothing but total success. Let me just give them a bit of a bash with those and then I'll put him on, on there. Ah, just help it out a bit, won't it? And I'll just move that brig out of the way. I don't need him there at all, do I really? Just get him out of there. And then we'll give him a bit of the old grape shot. I don't know what he's got in terms of guns on here now. Uh, 22. Well, we're already hitting with our forward guns. He shouldn't have actually hit us with anything. And uh, let's watch them all... Oh, I was going to say let's watch them all die, but no, nope, I'm not going to be allowed to. Well, there are the results. It might come as a bit of a surprise that I'm going to keep that ship. I'm going to add that to the uh, fleet, and I'll show you why. And what I want to do now, let's find out how far that can go. Aha! Good. That's excellent. Um, so, I'll put one over here. To oh, I was going to say block that port, but... He hasn't got any ships in it, so okay, we'll damage the port then. And this one has got a ship in it. That one had a ship in it as well, didn't it? What's that got in there? That's got an India man. And this one here has got a brig. Right, okay, so I'll put my first rate in on the um, where, where the brig is and blockade that one. And I'll put this one here where the, um, uh, what was it, the... Um, uh, India man was. Okay, so there now, it looks to me as though he's only got three ports. One, two, three. So in one, one fell swoop there, we've taken out the uh, Prussian Navy. It can't move, it can't do anything now. And we've done it <laughs> with his own ships. Which is nice to see. I mean, the one that the first rate's got there is probably a captured one anyway. So, so that frees up the rest of my fleets then, doesn't it, now, to do anything I like. We should be safe now, completely, from the Prussians. I think the Prussians trade over land anyway, so it'll make no difference to their trade. But it will prevent him from being able to attack me now over in Newfoundland. Oh, and I've still got a couple of minutes left as well. Hey, this is working well. Right, and what else can I do? Um, I think I might... Um, hmm. I need to move my main fleet somewhere now, don't I? Get it doing something useful. I'm going to have a think about that, you know, where I'm going to move that main fleet to. Because I might move it back over into the uh, the Americas and uh, see if we can murder any Spanish ships over, th over there. Right, um, I might even take it through all the trading hubs, destroying everything, you know, that's um, an enemy that's trading at the moment. Right, well, while I think about that one then, I'm going to build any farms that I can find anywhere. So, hmm, 
Where do we find the farms? It's not a farm, is it? Yes, it is, actually. Well, it was. It's now a palatial estate. These are plantations. Well, I build up all my farms. Basically because I know in various places um, my people are unhappy because they haven't got um, sufficient food. Um, so I want to make sure I just do them all across the board, then I know I've done them, instead of fiddling about trying to sort out which ones are which. Um, can I do this in time? I think I just about can. Yep, some big ones here, palatial estates, all sorts of things. Um, hmm. No, nope. tempted then. <laughs> okay, and... Yep. So last turn we did roads, this turn we're doing farms. And, oh, that's a very poor quality on that, isn't it? A very low one. And... Once we get into the end now, 2002 left. So I wonder if there's anything else I needed. Don't think I do. Hmm. Well, if I built... Oh, I can't afford that one. If I built all the farms that I... Oh, no, I haven't. Right, okay. I could get one more of those. One more thousand farm. Yes. There it is. The rest is just 600, so nothing I can do with 600, I don't think. Um, what happened with this? Um, sloop. Let's move him to there. Do you know, I bet I, could have, I, bet I can afford a sloop now as well. Uh, for some reason... That port there hasn't got anything in it, and that's not good. Oh, and I can afford a sloop. <laughs> Perfect, just to eat up the last bit of money. Do you know, honestly, you'd think I'd uh, plan that, wouldn't you? But uh, believe you me, there's absolutely no way I planned it to that amount of detail to within 67. No chance. I'm a bit curious. Oh, how much time have we got left? Have we got a minute or two left? Let's go and have a look in here. I'm a bit curious if any damage at all was done to these ships. Well, I don't think there was, you know. Right, that one. Oh. No damage. Right, brilliant. And um, this one. No damage. They're fantastic, eh? Um, now, this one here. That one's got no damage either. It actually, it says cost naught on that one, whereas the others it doesn't say anything at all. But there's no damage to the flag, is there? So we should be fine. What's likely to happen now, by the way, is he's going to put an infantry unit in there and it'll pop my fleet out. But I don't mind. I'll just then blockade. Um, and that will um, prevent him producing any ships anyway. The only thing he can do is come out and attack me here with this um, brig. And um, the other option that he has, of course, is he can attack me here. This is his best opportunity for the India man against my... Um, uh, against my brig. He's got very little chance, to be honest with you, an Indian man against a brig. But um, it, it, if I get laps, he could get away with it, but I, c I can't, honestly can't see that happening. Anyway, I, I'm going to have a think about what I'm going to do with this um, this large fleet now. Let's see what we can get next turn. $27,500 next turn. That's pretty good, isn't it, I think? We've got all these ports covered as well, by the way. Um, so nothing can land and attack, like France, for instance, in case they suddenly get angry at me for some reason. I can't see why they should do. I mean, we're such a nice people, aren't we? You know, so they should like us. Um, hmm. Okay. Actually, this is probably the most at risk, isn't it? This area. That's got two ports in it, so I need to give some thought to. Anyway, I can't do that now because uh, I've run out of time, but I've also run out of money to do that. So, hmm. Thought for next turn.